This upcoming week is going to be a big one. Final Fantasy VII fans all across the world are uniting together, taking off the clown makeup and outfit. Hopefully. If you haven't heard yet, Final Fantasy VII's official 25th year anniversary stream is happening Thursday, June 16th. We will be streaming it live here on the channel. Make sure you guys click the card in the top right or the pinned comment for the live stream link. And to celebrate, guys, we need to hit that like button. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes to prepare ourselves for a week of hype for Final Fantasy VII. A bunch of Square Enix officials and voice actors have been confirming that this event is something that we do not want to miss out on. From social media professionals who work for Square Enix and actual voice actors within the game. Shoutouts to Brianna White, the voice actress of Aerith. But there is something we talked about before that I now think means something bigger just might be going on. You're going to want to make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell because this week is the big one, ladies and gentlemen. Only 30% of you guys who watch and love these videos are currently subscribed. Let's fix that and make sure you don't miss the big news this week that Final Fantasy VII fans have been dying to hear. So we know we got Aerith's voice actress, Brianna White, tweeting excitement about this event. But also, as we mentioned before, we had Zack's German voice actor also tweeting excitement about it too, which sort of alludes to the fact that Zack will be involved in this showcase somehow, some way. Maybe more than just for Final Fantasy VII Remake, because we also had an interaction with Gact, the model and inspiration for Genesis, posting a video of him singing a few days ago while wearing the Genesis outfit. The timing is just strange. Gak's account is set to private, but hopefully he can accept and I can showcase what that video looks like here. Someone over the weekend had shared it to me, but I completely forgot where they shared it. I cannot find it anymore. It might have been on Twitter, but uh, if you're watching this video, sorry about that. I really do appreciate it though. Now, what could this possibly mean with Zack's German actor, Genesis's model, along with Aerith's actress posting stuff about it? This could point to a Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core remake. I'm not full on doubting this to be honest, I think it's very well within a possibility for Final Fantasy VII Remake to spark remakes within the compilation titles as well. And honestly I prefer it too because I don't want to be playing as Zack in Final Fantasy VII Remake. I feel like it's going to take a little bit away from Cloud in some ways, but then again they could always do it right. Either way, I'm hopeful for whatever it is they decide to do and I can't wait to see it. There's also one more big revelation this could actually mean, which we'll talk about in this next segment of the video. And it sort of alludes to Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Remake being something totally different. Something that we haven't been expecting, but we may have been hearing about over the last year through 4chan. The total languages in Remake that are dubbed are French, English, Japanese, and German. It could be that we are getting more Zack and Gact in Remake Part 2. Or maybe it's just a Crisis Core Remake happening, you never know. Could have us Gacting up. You know, as the, the Morbius fans have been saying. Shoutouts to NSP, he brought some more potential ideas to this happening. Be sure to follow and subscribe to his channel if you haven't yet. But he made a good point about how for the Final Fantasy VII 10th year anniversary event, we got a Cloud, Zack, and Sephiroth logo the first time around. And this was also when Crisis Core was first revealed. Now for the 25th year anniversary, we have another logo finally colorized of Zack, Cloud, and Sephiroth again. Something new could be coming our way. I doubt Labyrinth, Striker, and Final Bar Line have anything significant to do with it, but I won't roll that out just yet because with this company, you just never know. It's very possible that with all the voice actors getting excited and tweeting things out about the event, we very well could be seeing the Final Fantasy VII anime coming to life. Last year, we kept hearing 4chan rumors about an anime being in the works for Final Fantasy VII with Netflix. Nothing was ever officially confirmed, but I'm willing to take a jump at it possibly being a Crisis Core anime instead of it being a Crisis Core game remake. We previously had a sort of second half of Crisis Core anime short with Final Fantasy VII The Last Order. This story followed song narrating the Nibelheim incident involving Cloud, Sephiroth, Zack, and Tifa, which carried over into the beginning of Final Fantasy VII's story. The ending story of Crisis Core has some pretty solid storytelling I think Netflix could really capitalize off of, and who knows, maybe gift us something many of us wanted for a long time, a Final Fantasy VII anime. Just looking at the artwork from Last Order in its Trigun style, it's enough to just cream at the thought of this being a reality. Then we have the fan-made anime intros the community has been hyped over for years, which I would love to see still come to fruition. I think this tweet sort of supports that idea being a possibility a bit more. From Pierre Copi, a video game journalist who is claiming to have received word about details cooking up between Square Enix and another big company, which they cannot name just yet. 
It's pretty obvious that Sony and Square Enix with Final Fantasy have a great relationship. So tweeting this out because of a potential buyout from them is not really a shocker. A lot of people are saying Microsoft could be in the running to acquire them, but that would be a massive L financially for Square Enix, since their games continue to sell poorly on Xbox consoles, even their mainline Final Fantasy games. It's just PlayStation leading the pack with Nintendo as well for other Square Enix titles. The big company that could be in question, and recently has been in a lot of major talks from starting their own gaming service to starting to support live streaming soon, it very well could be Netflix themselves. The partnership has been long rumored, and I think it would be a very welcomed one. What do you guys think about all this? Will Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core get an announcement as a video game remake or a Netflix anime? Which would you prefer and why? Let me know in the comments below. This week is going to be an exciting one, guys. Thursday, June 16th at 3 o'clock Eastern Time, we are going live to watch the Final Fantasy VII event that Square Enix cannot stop hyping up for everyone. You don't want to miss that. This is possibly the biggest moment for the community since the release of Final Fantasy VII Remake over two years ago now. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Final Fantasy videos are coming your way and you won't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.